Hey everybody, we got Guitar Crate. This is April 2021, and we're gonna get this going for you here real quick. So for those of you who are not familiar, Guitar Crate is a subscription service. You can choose your level of involvement. I do this every month where I talk about this, so I'll be extra brief on this one because I'm assuming that you've probably been to this channel before. Um, $20 a month, $40 a month, or $100 a month. The $100 a month is the Pedal of the Month Club. 40 gets you two sets of strings, 20 gets you one set of strings. Uh, that includes shipping, tax, everything. So it's a flat fee, no additional charge. Uh, for this iteration, we'll call it, um, my face is here. That's only because uh, one of my viewers said that I should show my face. I don't really think that I should. I think that this is about the content and it's not about me. However, here I am. So April, 2021. Uh, you'll notice we're not using uh, my camera. My 1DXs allegedly can record HD video. Apparently I'm screwing something up because they only do SD when I upload. And that's our box for the month and oh, I'm already disappointed. Okay, so this absolutely has nothing to do with Guitar Crate. Uh, this is the product they shipped. That's actually recently finished too. If you go through my channel and you look, there is another video where I had an issue with an on-stage stand. I hung it up, you know, so you hang it up, mounts to the wall, two screws, goes like that. The pressure of the guitar does this. Okay, nice padding, all that bullshit, right? Okay, so here's the problem. This here, metal. I mean, you can listen to it. plastic because all the shit in here is gears and stuff now listen to the sound if that's not plastic and it feels like plastic it's pot metal now that dumb thing i had a guitar and i'll show you at the end of the video i'll, I'll pan up to it i had a guitar on a stand and i noticed as i was picking it up so i picked it up so the guitar is down pick up the guitar Take the guitar off so all pressure is off in here <coughs> i looked and it was cracked on the bottom here there's no little babies animals whatever running around bothering that so just this is not guitar crates problem this is on stage stands piece of shit stand problem so just keep that in mind two sets of strings like we get every month diodario uh you heard me say this ad nauseum best bang for your buck what else did we get this month? A Diodario mini mic stand pick holder. I should just leave the knife open, right? So this would clamp onto your mic stand and then your guitar picks would go in like thus or however you want to put them in. So that's pretty cool. Two sets of strings. And then our bonus for this month is uh, gravity guitar picks. I had these before, and I didn't have anything against them, but I'll let you hear the difference in sound here. Hopefully you can see this on my desk, move my mouse and all that. So here's one of them, another one, another one, another one. Okay, so I use, and I buy them, you can see, in a huge bulk, I use a 1.5 millimeter pick. I have it made with a logo and all that bullshit. So listen to how one of these sounds. Versus this. Versus this. Versus this. Or this. Okay, so comparison. I don't know where that went. You hear the difference, this one you know, different sound every time. Now, with that said, that doesn't mean these are good or bad. Uh, what we could do, uh, we'll see if this felt close. It did. We'll go through here real quick. Oh, you got to see that in live time. I hope that wasn't too undignifying. So we'll take a guitar here. Take one of these gravities. This is a, it says gravity JHS pedals. There's no measurement on it. It's kind of a beveled surface here. So...
sounds kind of plasticky. We'll compare that to a standard Dunlop Tortex. A little smoother. We'll go to a thinner one of these gravities. This one here says gravity 0 0.90 sunrise. Okay, well, um, a little bit more muted, a little bit more, you know, kind of that kind of sound with your picking. Maybe with uh, cording. Sounds a little better. Okay, so we go to our next one. This is a uh, gravity and it just has, I think that's the guitar crate uh, insignia. I'm not sure. Uh, different shape. I like the shape of it. I do like a pointy pick. Uh, this is very thick. Um, I, I don't know. It's kind of buggered up. This is a standard Dunlop. A little bit more subdued. And the last one in this uh, gravity pile is a gravity 0.90 classic, it says. So it's a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. Uh, let's give that a shot. Um, I can pretty much safely say I won't be using these. It's not that they're anything bad. Um, I don't mean it to come off that way at all. The one I would probably be most likely to use would be the JHS Pedals labeled one. Uh, just because I like a thick pick and I like a, um, a, a point. I like a real sharp point. So before I switch to my signature picks, uh, I've been using a Dunlop like this here that I carved some extra lines in. And that's always served me well. But here we are, um, the, the signature picks ones... Um, they do well, but back to this here, I mean, this would probably be the most likely one out of my bunch that I would use. And even that, that feels weird to me in my hand. Um, it, and some folks won't tell you this, but it'll feel different in your fretting hand if your pick doesn't feel right. So I mean, same thing. You know, I feel like I'm a little bit more concise even on the notes I don't hit. So there you have it. April 2021 Guitar Crate. Piece of shit guitar stand. Two sets of strings. Some gravity picks that I won't use. And a um, mic stand holder. I'm sorry, a guitar pick mic stand holder. Did I say that right? Guitar pick holder mic stand attachment. However you want to call it. Clips on. Picks go in. You're singing, you're throwing picks to people. Um, kind of a letdown, folks. This month kind of sucked. I'm not sure what the hell happened with them. For the sake of the channel, I'll keep going. I'll do another couple months. I'm not going to hang a guitar on this. If any of my viewers want this, all 60 of you, pay shipping. I'll mail it to you. You can have it. These uh, gravity picks, you want any of them? Pay the shipping, they're yours. Uh, the gravity picks would ship in a standard envelope, be probably 50 cents, so you know what? They're free. Anyone wants them, you just say the word, I'll mail them out. This here, I don't know, whatever first class mail is for something this size, it'd be shipped like this. But, oh, hold on. Just like that, or like, probably like that, probably be smallest box. Um, at the beginning of the video, I said I would show what I've replaced this with. So this has nothing to do with Guitar Crate. This is what I replaced with. So I bought a bunch of these years and years and years ago. I used to run a little shop doing repairs, hot rodding, modification, and stuff like that in the early 2000s. And uh, quite popular. But these are the stands that we would use on the walls. So customer guitar comes in, bang and then what's the order you know are we waiting for parts whatever this guy's up next this guy's up next so this is it string swing makes these it's the same style i mean it's a block of oak um a little bit bigger on that but instead of this weird chintzy plastic thing the way these threaded in was i'll spin this around here real quick maybe i should just do a video on the string swing 
a threaded eyelet that goes right here, and then this is threaded. So a piece of uh, quarter inch steel is likely not going to let your guitar down. A piece of plastic and some weird nipple probably will. Now, as I promised here, yeah, we got one up here, another one of the string swings, and uh, see if I can do this. That's one of the extended ones. That's for acoustic guitars. Um, pretty good stuff. But back on the point here for Guitar Crate, April 2021, a couple guitar picks, thing, thing, two sets of strings. Um, like I said, anyone wants it, I'll mail the thing to them. You pay the shipping. No cost at all other than shipping. Picks, you want that mailed to you? Free. Throw them in an envelope. Shoot me a message if you don't want to put your address out there. All right, folks, we will see you next month with another Guitar Crate. That would be May 2021. I also have another video that I'm going to post uh, once I film it. I received a guitar from one of the big retailers. I bought it on a whim, and I uh, want to detail a little bit of that experience with you guys. All right, see you next time.